Hi, my name is Janice Pollan. I'm a school teacher in an elementary school where I work with small groups of students as a reading and math specialist. Today, I would like to show you how to teach the value of coins to students. The materials that you will need are actual coins, some pages that have images of coins on them, and some kind of marking material, either a marker or a crayon. This is a great strategy because it's fun and it capitalizes on their ability to count by fives. The first step in this process is to teach the names of coins. I like to give the students the real coins, actual coins, so that they have an opportunity to see them, to touch them, to move them around and sort them. Teach the names of each first. Step two is to teach the values of each coin. For this, I would suggest using a strategy where you call um, what we're drawing either hairs or antennas on these coins. We say that each hair counts for five. A nickel has one hair, a dime two, the quarter has five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Then we tell our students that the penny is a baldy. He has no hairs on him. Remember, it's a good idea to keep practicing this each day. Each hair counts as five. In this method, you don't need to sort or rearrange. After you've practiced this and the students understand the value of each coin, give them a page of their own where they have the opportunity to go through and mark the number of hairs on each coin. Leave this up on the board or in a place where they'll be able to check and see their, their responses match. Have them go through and mark each coin. It becomes very natural and easy after days of practice. Remember to remind them the pennies are baldies and have none. Now it's time to start counting and this doesn't need any rearranging or sorting. You can start anywhere. Just count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 and then count each penny as one. 66, 67, 68. Step four is to actually give the real coins. The students will outgrow the need to draw hairs on every coin and it will become an easy and fun process for them to count coins.